From News 19, a meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Today is September the 5th, and we're getting closer to the average peak of hurricane season. That date is September 10th. Typically after that, the activity does drop just a touch. Has been a very busy season so far. We've had 12 storms, three hurricanes, and two major hurricanes. On average at this point in September, we would expect seven storms, two hurricanes, and one major hurricane. And that was the forecast from NOAA in August. So looks like it is going to be and has been an above normal season so far. Here are all the tracks so far for the season. As we mentioned, we've had a lot of storms out there. and We're continuing to monitor a couple of more areas that will likely become storms before it's all said and done. Watching this wave coming off the African coast, Hurricane Center gives that a 70% chance of further development, but it's this cluster of thunderstorms right here. National Hurricane Center gives us a 100% chance of developing over the next few days. This will likely be Lee and looks like it may become a hurricane before it's all said and done. Here are the spaghetti models already attached to that cluster of storms there. Pretty good agreement through about five days and then things kind of spread out a little bit. As of right now, it looks like this is going to kind of turn more towards the northwest and eventually towards the north. But again, this is going to be a system we'll continue to pay close attention to. Here are the models, at least the comparative models between the European and the American. And you'll notice by next week, both models show a major storm out here in the Atlantic. So that's seven days from now showing a major storm out in the Atlantic, possibly Hurricane Lee out there. So again, this will be one we watch closely. As we mentioned, that'll be our next name storm. The other two have basically dissolved. Yesterday we still had GERD out there in Katia, but those have now dissolved and we'll continue to monitor that wave or at least that tropical disturbance that will likely become Lee this week.